spoiler alert, I'm about to give you the current relationship status of every couple on 90 Day Fiance the other way. Hey reality reporters, Christy here with an update on all the couples from the currently airing season of 90 Day Fiance The Other Way. We're just a few episodes in, but if you're like me, you want to know where this is all going. Okay, it looks like the biggest drama is yet to come. I want to know, does it work out? Do they get married? Do they stay together? Are Binium and Ari back in Ethiopia? Let's start there. Okay, huge news here with Ariella and Binium, although they still have yet to tie the knot. No wedding date set, they said that in an interview very recently. The controversy here is that he wants it to be in Ethiopia so that his family can be there easily. She wants it to be in the States so that her family can be there. Hmm, well, currently you'll never guess where they were spotted last in New York City. Just a couple weeks ago at the end of August, both of them were spotted there. Ari was on social media getting some jaw and lip fillers done there. Mm -hmm. And Binium actually had his own MMA fight that he competed in. So that was advertised. They were both definitely there just a couple of weeks ago. Also, a fan spotted Binium at a restaurant there in Manhattan and talked to the staff who said that he comes in often. They chat with him. And what the staff there knew was that Ariella and Binium are living indefinitely right now in New York City and they are considering making a permanent move there. However, they are reportedly concerned because neither one of them still have a job. Yeah, it costs a pretty penny to live there in New York City. So that's the current update on the two of them. They are in the States together. And um, apparently all this hullabaloo about Leandro coming to visit is much ado about nothing. So no wedding bells yet for Ariella and Binium. But what about Jenny and Sumit? All right, one of the most controversial couples from the couple of all time reportedly have walked down the aisle and are finally husband and wife. One whole divorce later, right? Here's the pics that Jenny posted on social media in April with both her and Sumit wearing rings. All right, we caught on to that even though she tried to sneak it in pretty quick there. But some fans were guessing if maybe these photos were from a honeymoon. They took a beach, uh, trip to the beach and were staying at a fancy hotel. Not only that, but Jenny's daughter Christina, who we love and have seen on the show many times, commented on one of the photos and wrote that Sumit was pops as in her dad, right? How weird is that? But uh, stepdaddy vibes? Aha, uh -huh. sounds like Jenny and Sumit are finally together forever. What do you guys think about that? How about this? We may not see their wedding on the show. What, what, what? Uh, yeah, Jenny hinted on social media recently that she and Sumit are done with TLC, as in not filming ever again. And it also was revealed that we will learn why they're finished with the show. So we're gonna have to stay tuned as far as that goes, but um, I guess congratulations are in order for Jenny and Sumit. No surprises here, also becoming husband and husband, since what we've seen on the show is Armando and Kenneth. Oh, they are one of my favorite couples of all times. Huge congratulations to them. And the controversy here wasn't ever whether they were going to get married or not. It was whether the two of them are going to have kids. We're going to be covering that conversation with them a lot this season on the show. We got an update recently in an interview where Kenneth said that they are currently discussing it and they are considering both of their current families that they already have are a big part of the decision. So uh, while they decide whether or not to have kids, the two are also looking forward to having a big honeymoon in Switzerland whenever the pandemic subsides. So um, how fun. Well, some other travel plans that have been affected not by COVID, but by a hurricane were Ellie's to travel to Provencia. So of course, talking about Ellie and Victor, I a huge update. She was spotted by a fan at her pizza restaurant in Seattle just last week. So Ellie definitely never made good on her plans to move to Providencia, wondering if maybe the hurricane had something to do with that. As far as an indication whether her and Victor are still together after these cheating allegations we've heard about and um, some other things that are coming down the pipe, it looks like they're at least on good terms. She shared a GoFundMe recently that she started for Victor and his family and some of the other folks over there to deal with the hurricane. So my guess is they're still together, but... Uh, we know that at this point in relationships for the show, sometimes that's the only thing that's keeping them together, right? Leave a comment below and let me know what you guys think about Ellie and Victor. 
Another guy who's getting some flack for the way he's treated his woman is Steven, who we're seeing on the current season with Alina. They're planning to move to Turkey to be together. Well, Steven's getting a lot of flack from the fans, and what he's been up to recently is just sort of taking this media tour to cover his ass about about asking her if he could date other women and about lying to her about being a virgin. But it does look like the two have lasted all of this hullabaloo, but that there's still quite a bit of drama. So you're not going to believe this. Just a couple days ago in an interview, Steven did say that he loves Alina. Okay, great. Still in love. He did not mention whether he is in Turkey with her or still currently in the United States, whether their engagement is still on. Now, guys, here is why there's a question about that. Seems to be some major, major drama between these two on the daily, okay? Because that same day where Steven is telling the media that he still loves Alina, she posted a photo on social media and said, ooh, somebody with a V doesn't like this pic, but I'm going to post it anyway. That's right, you go girl, get sassy. She's gonna figure out that she doesn't need this jerk, especially after she gets some uh, love from the fans on this show. Maybe Alina can appear on the next season of The Single Life. I think that would probably be best for her. Uh, that's all the updates I have on Steven and Alina. Are you guys rooting for them? Let me know. Now on to a couple who we've seen break up and get back together more times than seasons they've been on. I think which is a lot. I am of course talking about Corey and Evelyn. Is it finally over for the two of them? Or did they walk down the aisle? Well, come on, that's not even a great tease. We know these two are never getting married. And in fact, the most recent update with the two of them is pretty gnarly. So as you might know, Evelyn gets a lot of um, criticism online. Recently in the last week or two, Corey posted something online defending Evelyn against cyberbullies, but he referenced whether he's with her or not, or whether they're together or not, that he's still going to stand up to her. So wait, what the heck? If you're together or not? What are you talking about, Corey? Well, Evelyn, as she usually does, wasn't going to let all this chatter go down without weighing in on it. Her response was saying Corey was being completely ingenuine in trying to stand up for her publicly. She was saying that privately he is actually torturing her, knowing that she is going through some major mental health issues right now, and that um, this whole look to make it seem like he's there for her supporting her was just for the public. You know, that's pretty sad. Evelyn is a strong woman, and I think she brings on a lot of what she gets, but it sounds like neither one of them are doing well right now. And um, you know what? Let's just cap this off by sending Evelyn some love. Well, there you go. You just spoiled yourself in the greatest sense of the word. And we're still going to enjoy watching every second of this season, right? Because we're only on episode three. That airs tonight, and there were 22 episodes in season two. So a lot to unfold before we get to the current times with these couples. I will be watching and covering it all right here for you. So make sure you hit that big red subscribe button and hit me up anytime at Christy Reports. Let me know what little newsy tidbits you're coming across and uh, we'll get to the bottom of it. All right, thank you so much. Enjoy the show tonight and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.